you were closed at any point, and uh, can you talk about uh, what was going through your mind at that point? Uh, yeah, neck cranks are always hard to pull off. I mean, if the person has a lot of heart, they can fight through it. Then, like she did, she she was successful. And then uh, I bear it down where I have teeth marks actually from getting on her mouth, thinking that maybe I could get her to tap just by knocking some teeth out, but it <laughs> just didn't quite work out. <laughs> and then uh, when you were on the ground, you were able to defend against uh, the armbar for quite a long time. And you know, obviously, you had practiced that. Can you talk about sort of where she ended up getting you? Did you make a mistake, or was it just a good technique on her part? No, she had a great technique and she kept uh, alternating how she was trying to pull the arm bar and uh, ultimately she got it. <laughs> and then last question for you, did she surprise you with anything? Was she stronger than you thought, quicker than you thought? Was there anything about her going into the fight that you had a preconceived notion on that you changed from being in the cage with her? No, she came out exactly how I expected. Do you think it was funny that a lot of people were talking about how these two look a lot alike and they both had the same move tonight? <laughs> Not a little weird? I was waiting for that. I was watching this like, oh man, I can just see this now. Talking about the twins and their move together. <laughs> Funny. So I was saying back there, uh, watching the fight. <laughs> Ronda Rousey, and she had a great showing tonight. I know you said that means that she belongs, but it, how much does that loss on her record, does it impact things? Do you have things in mind for her and how that... Yeah, no, her? she's in the UFC and, and uh, she's one of the best in the world. And, See what happens next. Huh? I guarantee you this, this is what I promise you, she's gonna have a fucking kitchen table. That I can promise you. And a couch. Whatever other shit she wants. Yeah, we need the car, that's right. So the last couple of seconds of the fight and describe as precisely as possible what the armbar was like. I don't know if you've ever been armbarred to really understand what you go through. Um, just imagine bending back your finger and to a point where it's not meant to go. Uh, I didn't know how much time I had left, otherwise I probably would have let it break just to go into the second round. <laughs> um, you know, I, th I thought it was good, it was, it was locked in, and then she was able to work into another position and unlock my hands. But otherwise, up until that point, it felt like it was good. You lost the fight and everything, but uh, any kind of satisfaction or something where you can look back and go, you know, you were you were in the first match and it was, you know, the match itself was a huge success. Yeah, of course, I, I take away from it that I gave her a run for her money and I had her there for a second, and I'm I'm honored just to be a part of the UFC, and I take that away. This is a, a monumental mark in history, and to be to participate in that is just words can't even explain. But of course, on my my heart is critic, and I'm hoping for more and looking forward to coming back to reclaim myself. It covers the sport, knows who these women are, and knows what they've done. You know, I think the rankings will be out on Monday or Tuesday or whatever day we're doing them on. Oh, so they will be included in this I, I think so, oh, okay. yeah. Great. I don't know the answer to that, but if the answer was no, the answer is yes now. Hi, this question's for Liz. Um, your army of fans, the Liz Bows, are out in full effect tonight. I want to know what you have to say to them. Uh, all I have to say is thank you. They really made this fight possible, pushing on, on Twitter. And thank you for making the show that you guys did. I, I really appreciate it. And yeah, one more question. Um, well, just for yeah. the record, it had nothing to do with Twitter. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, it had nothing no. to do with Twitter. It had to do with her, Absolutely. who she is, what she's done. Do you have any, um, any advice for the girls coming in since you've paved the way tonight? Um, do you have any advice for them? Yeah, absolutely. If, if they have a dream, pursue it with all their heart. The only one that can tell them they can't do something is themselves. So as long as they set their stakes high, they can achieve anything. Liz, do we heard what uh, Rhonda was going to do when she goes back home? And obviously both of you have run the gauntlet as far as your media uh, you know, obligations go. What's the first thing you're going to buy? Food. Uh, <laughs> My birthday was on Tuesday, so uh, we went to Morton's Steakhouse. I got to watch everybody else eat, and they brought out cheesecake. Which I'm completely okay with. Like I love seeing people eat, so it's fine. But uh, it's probably gonna be a creme brulee cheesecake, and then from there, who knows? We'll, we'll take two more questions. Yeah, Liz, congratulations on a on a courageous effort there. Came up a little short, but fantastic effort. At one point there in the middle of the first round, it seemed like you had your hands clasped behind your head on the ground, almost like you were maybe trying to lure on the end. I'm not sure exactly. Was there a strategy there? 
Uh, no, it's always common practice uh, for us when we get to the ground. You don't want to keep your head undefended because if she throws a kick and it lands or throws a punch, then your head has nowhere to go except the mat, and then you can get knocked unconscious for something that you do ultimately can protect yourself from.